Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Sneaker Shopping Therapy. If you kind of watched the last video, then you know this one is shot directly after the last one. And I'm going to show you the Funko that I managed to cop, which is the Hulk. Absolutely dope. Absolutely amazing. Copped him for about, I'm going to say six to eight pounds, I believe. US money, I think that's about 10 bucks tops. And definitely... Fire Funko, man. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I love the Hulk anyway. I grew up in the 80s, so we had the Incredible Hulk on the TV as a TV series with Bruce Banner. Definitely dope. Absolutely amazing show when I was growing up. So definitely a big fan of the Hulk anyway. So definitely glad to have the Hulk, you know, in the Avengers outfit in the collection. But I want to kind of talk about what I talked about in the last video, which is fits, right? Um, and clothes and why I bought some of these hoodies or whatever so i've got the jim reds behind me uh, i've got the stranger things behind me because i want to show you that again uh so just a quick look at that and just with the kenzo hoodie man uh just so you can see what i mean why this is such a great fit so as you can tell we have the kenzo hoodie get rid of the tags and those on feet Check that out, bro. Absolute fire. Absolutely perfect match. I think that's going to look absolutely perfect. So if you're kind of looking for stuff to wear with these, go and check out Kenzo, man. Go go and check out some Kenzo hoodies or something with a bit of green in it. You know what I mean? Just to flex these, man, because these are dope. These are fire. These are sold out. Amazingly sold out really, really quick. Just not these ones. There was a second drop. In a slightly different colorway, they sold out as well. Stranger Things is doing numbers, man. Well done, Night Man. I think that's absolutely dope. Absolutely fire. Absolutely fire, man. I can't believe these sold out so fast, and I'm glad to have them. And especially now, I've got most of the fit done with the Kenzo hoodie. Definitely dope. Looking forward to doing that fit, wearing it, and probably dropping a video of an on feet with those shoes on. And also, as I said, man, this McQueen hoodie, again, goes absolutely perfect with these. I tell you, man, it's all about the fit, right? Sometimes you've got to go out and look for the fit. Yeah, you know I mean, sometimes you're not going to have the fit in hand. You're not going to have it. You're not going to have it ready to go. You're not going to have something in the, the wardrobe. Yeah, you know I mean, so you've got to go out cop something that goes with the shoe and is of good enough quality and i just think that this and this goes together absolutely amazingly well man i think that is a great fit a great look alexander mcqueen hoodie the gym reds man so like i said oh <laughs> i'm hoping to do this in a one shot or one take i said i think i said that in my original video that when i shot this i'm gonna try and do this in one take and the reason why is because i'm gonna try and do this in 4k because i don't do a lot of uploads in 4k so it'd be nice to actually like do one take upload it in 4k don't have to edit don't have to do anything so forgive me if it's not my normal standard if it's not up to my normal standard then do forgive me um I'm feeling a bit rough, as you know. I still got the cold. Um, from the last video, you can tell I kind of talk about it in that. And it's still, you know, and it's hours late now. What's the time now? 11 p.m. So it's way, way later than um, when I first shot the original video. Just in the fact that it took a long while to get that first video uploaded, cut, edited a bit um as much as i could and i still got to pack to go back to eindhoven as well so i'm not in the best of shape i feel a bit rough and i think that this particular video is a bit off um we'll have to wait and see i don't i have to watch the playback and hopefully it comes out okay i don't have to keep recording it a time and time again but it is a really quick video as i said you know what I mean? And I want to big up all the subscribers, man. Salute to you. 
uh, for checking out all the videos and stuff and for subscribing and checking out the content. Really want to push on to 5K this year. So we're getting there. Yeah, you know I mean, as I said, it's really slow. Um, for, yeah, you know I mean, going from four to five is going to be really slow. I think it's not going to be the quickest. You know, we went for a bit of a jump from, you know, one to two to two to three. That was quite quick. Um, and got to four and then we kind of dropped off, but that's the YouTube, YouTube, new. <sighs> see man, I'm that beat right now, I am absolutely beat right now, bro, I'm absolutely battered, but yeah, but that's the YouTube algorithm, man, it kind of works with you sometimes and then sometimes it just works against you, yeah, there's nothing you can do about it, as a youtuber you're gonna have those periods you're just gonna have those periods where you know the youtube algorithm works for you shows people your video you show up in their stuff and then whatever it's doing you just don't it's not a good or bad thing it's just part of being a youtuber a creator so if you're creating content just realize that man especially all the guys who watch out my content as well and i check out yours just realize that because you know whether you're at one subscriber to a thousand to I guess it doesn't really start really popping until you get, you know, maybe about 20k anyway. Um, until you really get about 20k subscribers and you're getting probably then if you're lucky, if you're getting 20k subscribers. If you're, you're lucky if you get 5k, maybe 10k views per video, that'd be really, really good numbers. Um I really hope I can get there. I'm going to keep pushing, man. I'm going to keep doing my content, keep producing what I produce, man. And hopefully people like it. If they don't, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm going to do YouTube content I really like. Um, I'm going to keep it 100. I don't do fakes. Um, I've noticed that a lot of people do do fakes. Uh, fake this, fake that. Just for views. You know, so they go and cop some fake sneakers and try and pass them as real sneakers and stuff uh, or some fake clothes and try and pass them as real clothes. I, I don't care, man. That's up to them. That's they're up to them. If they want to get on in that way, let them do it. Okay. It's not something I'm going to do. It's not what my brand's about. But half the problem is that I look at it like this. A lot of people who like me, who are buying the real stuff, sticking to the real stuff and being honest and kind of doing their stuff like I'm doing it, which is like, hey, you know what? Not all the sneakers or whatever coming from someone or whatever. Um, we're copying because we like them, right? And we create stuff because we like to create stuff. But when brands are then going and associating them, themselves, um, these are big brands. These are like Nike, uh, Adidas, associating themselves with people whose careers is foundation of their careers. Let's say the foundation of their careers is based on fakes. So they started off their YouTube careers either copying fakes and selling them to other people or selling fakes to other people. And they got a lot of subscribers because a lot of people want to buy fakes. They can't afford the prices of the legitimate pairs, right? So they can't find, you know, the, I don't know, 160 pounds or whatever it is to cop a pair of Jordans. So they go to the fake sites or whatever, or go to these fake people on YouTube selling fakes um, and cop them off them for 40, 50 bucks, right? So... But they're not legit. They're coming from China, across the water. So these people get a lot of subscribers. Um, and then they get a lot of subscribers. They turn legitimate. And then the brands are messing with them. The brands are like, oh, these people got... No, these people got a lot of subscribers because they're selling fakes. A lot of their content is based around them selling fakes. Fake, they're ripping you off. But now, because you think that they got a lot of subscribers, if that's what you're basing it on, you're not basing it on their content. You can't be basing your interaction with these people on content. You just can't. If you were basing your interaction on the content 
and the content alone that these people are creating and what they've created in the past, then would you, what are you saying? You're saying it's okay? So if I wanted to start my YouTube career from scratch and I started my YouTube career today, reviewing and selling fake shoes. Let's just say that's what I did, right? I decided that, you know, the way I'm doing it now isn't working. I'm not getting a lot of subscribers fast enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start selling and promoting fakes. Let's say I do that. I get 10, 15,000 subscribers. Let's just say, right? Because a lot of these people in, in, in this fake era, that's what they're rolling with. They've got hundreds, thousands of subscribers, yeah? With people who mess with them because they do fakes. Let's say I do that. And then you're going to start messing with me. And then, what? Well, now I can promote your stuff because I've promoted fakes. What sort of message does that send to creators? What sort of message is that sending to people starting out their career that promoting and getting subscribers from counterfeit goods, the, the brands are now going to mess with you and accept you and don't do it legitimate, don't support the brands, don't do buy what you buy from legitimate sources, go to the fakes, do all the fakes, get your subscribers up. And it, that's not a great message, is it? And the problem is, it's the brands. The brands themselves are supporting these people, sending them stuff. So sending them legitimate pairs or sending them opportunities to go and work with them and do whatever. Doesn't make any sense. What sort of message are you sending? That's a question to the big brands. Like, you know what I mean? That's a question to the brands. What message are you honestly sending? When they're honest people, let's let's put it this way, right? Oh, it's Teddy, um, who is a vlogger. I'm going to call him a vlogger. I'm not going to call him a sneaker YouTuber, but he started out as a sneaker YouTuber, done reviews, used to rock a lot of Nike back in the day, a lot of Jordans back in the day, and then started to rock a lot of the Adidas. So a lot of the stuff that happened around the NMDs uh, era and how that got hype was through, oh, it's Teddy, he did some big things for them, he, you know, all right, he started off doing Boost God, became the Boost God, they didn't like it, Adidas didn't particularly like it, sued, oh, it's Teddy, but his promotion, dude, I'm going to put it this way, right, this is to Adidas, this is, this is for you, you people at Adidas, this is to you, okay, I watched one of, oh, it's Teddy's videos, and I own this particular shoe, this particular CS2, thanks to his videos, his promotion of Adidas products. Not because he gets paid to do it or was getting paid to do it or what have you, because he liked to rock boost. Okay? And I think that's amazing. I think that he should have been in your video. How is Oh It's Teddy not in the Boost video that you dropped? I know that I watched his video on the CS2s and I went out and said, hmm, I really like those. I'm going to try and get those and cop those. And finally, someone bought me a pair of these. If you go back in one of my old videos around Christmas this year, Finally got my hands on at my pet favorite pair of Adidas, the CS2 NMDs. And I love them to death, man. Super comfy. Absolutely love them to death, man. Absolutely love them to death. But that is down to, oh, it's Teddy. And that's that, that's that's what I'm saying to Adidas. That That's down to, oh, it's Teddy. So big up, oh, it's Teddy, man. I rock these or I got these because you. I watched one of your vlogs, man. And your vlogs are your vlogs, right? Just you vlogging stuff. And I respect that, bro. But I watched that and I was like, actually, I really like those. I really like, I'm going to try a pair. I tried a pair, fell in love with them. And I rocked them almost at least once to twice a week. And I'm the biggest Jordan and Knight fan. You know what I mean? Massive Jordan Knight fan. Every, 
hands down a jeweled and a knight fan checks over stripes or whatever you want to call it but i do support some adidas if they look dope they feel fly they're super comfy on feet i'm gonna buy a pair man and oh it said he promoted them and for him i'm gonna salute him man yeah i mean not even the adidas people because i weren't watching your ads to go to it yeah, that's thanks to Oates Teddy, bro. And he didn't even make it into your advert. That's crazy. What sort of message are you sending? And this is to the brands, man. There's a lot of these content creators. And a lot of content creators. And there's nothing wrong with it. If that's what you're doing, cool. But I'm asking the brands, what sort of message are you sending if the people that you're then saying are cool content creators are the ones who were doing counterfeit goods. What sort of message are you sending to the rest of the content creators who are doing what we're doing? So like I'm doing, I promote what I like, right? I just make videos about what I like, clothes I like, shoes I like, whatever. Say your brand. You're not looking at my videos, really. Is that what you're saying? You're not even interested because I don't have mad subscribers from selling fakes. So what you're saying to me is, hey, if you want to get big and you want our support, why don't you go and sell replica or promote replica sites, promote replica goods? get a few extra subscribers, a few more extra views, and then we will promote you and send you stuff. Great. Okay. That sounds backwards to me. I, I know that as a brand owner myself, which is Sneaker Shopping Therapy, if someone was ripping off my brand, I definitely wouldn't be sending them anything in the future, anytime soon. I definitely wouldn't be supporting them in any way because that's not the message I want for my brand. But we're seeing it. The content creators are seeing it. Every content creator is seeing it. They're seeing what you're doing. As a big corporate brand, we are watching you and seeing how you're manoeuvring in this market. Yeah, especially around YouTube creators, because we know the inside story of most of these YouTube creators. We know about them. We know what they're about. We, you, so do you. You must have investigated. You must have kind of gone in and tried to understand who you're allowing to promote your goods, who you're sending stuff to. You know this, and crazy, absolutely crazy, man. It makes absolutely no sense at all. So yeah, man. I see a lot of content creators now going to SneakerCon. Um, as I said, I, I said, I already said that the other day. That I said this to a lot of people. If I see some messed up stuff, I'm going to call it out. Feats and treats. I'm going to call it out. Feats and treats. I'm calling you out. Feats and treats. I'm calling you out for your fake sneakers that sneaker con allowed you to buy it sneaker con i'm calling out sneaker con as well because you allowed this to happen go and watch feats and treats man go and have a look at our stuff uh, uh customs size three nothing custom about them they're fake yeah so it's about time we start calling out the, the, the fakes. Um, There's another fake. Was it Foma Simpson or whatever his name is? Early looks. Just call them what they are, Foma, man. Fakes. Who are you trying to slide fakes out on? Like, it's not me. I don't care. Because I know what a fake is. I know what an early look cross the water is but just be honest about it you know what I mean just... crikey anything for the clout man anything for the views I know a lot of content creators yeah I know a lot of these big content creators a lot of these big 
yeah, who are used to getting 20,000, 30,000, maybe like 15K views per video. Yeah, they're seeing their numbers dwindle off, yeah. As real sneakers like me are coming into the market and saying, hold up a minute. Whoa. We're watching you. We've been watching you. But now we're content creators and we're going to tell people the truth about you. About all the fakes that you're doing. About the fakes that you're promoting. We're going to tell them. We're going to be honest enough to say the sneaker community as a whole ain't supporting you no longer. We're done with supporting you. We watched your content and then we worked out that you're fake. Just like the shoes you're reviewing, fake. You're a fake, you're a fraud. You're not a real sneakerhead, you're a fraud. At that point, you're a fraud, man. Come on, let's keep it 100, let's keep it 100% out here. We're not dealing with you freights and frauds no longer, man. We're just going to push on, do our thing, and we're going to grow, do our content, come together. A lot of us are coming together to get you the hell out of here, man. All you fakes and frauds, we're getting you the hell out of here. You're like industry plants, bro. Messing with your fakes, and then brands are picking you up. Nah, son. Nah, son. We're out in the brands as well. We're going to show, we're out in you. Because most of us have grown without you. We've grown without you. Think about that. We've got to where we are today without your support. Without your support. We've watched you support the fakes. The people who deal in fakes. We've watched. We've seen it. Now we're just going to do us and do the content we like. And we're growing. The real sneaker heads and the real sneaker channels are growing day by day. Hold tight, Mr. Skinny, man. Just I know it's hard, bro. But keep doing your thing. Wave gang, keep doing your thing. Yeah? Oh, my YouTube, man. Keep doing your thing, bro. Keep up the grind. LaShawn Terry, keep up the grind. It's a hard road. The YouTube algorithm, the brands, they're all fighting against us, right? To reach the real people. Because they know, they know if people like us reach the real people, reach the people and tell them exactly what's going on, not just with sneakers as a whole, but how the backdoor system actually is working as well. Because I think a lot of people at Nike are complicit in the backdooring. Supporting these shops. Knowing that these shops are basically taking the shoes that should go to customers. Yeah, The people who want to buy their shoes. So I'm a customer, you're a customer. If you're watching this channel, I know that you are a customer. You're just like me, you're an ordinary person. Yeah, and you want to promote or whatever, do your thing, whatever, you go into a shop, you expect to be able to buy a good. But the man in the shop is working with the Nike representative he knows, yeah, he's giving him a bag, yeah, so that he can go off and backdoor the pairs. He can backdoor the pairs, he can go off and put them on stockets and jack up the prices. All over the sneaker industry, it's, it's a mess. It's a mess. All this hype over Travis, bloody Scott's lows. Christ, grow up for... Jesus, are you crazy? They are not worth the money. And a lot of people are just off the hype. It's just crazy out here. What is wrong with you people? They're not that nice. Let's be honest, the Travis are not that nice. I don't even like the Travis Scott. I never liked the Travis Scotts when I first saw the photos. I don't like them now. Yet people see the money that can be made. 
Why? Because people are backdooring them and jacking up the price, the hype, the hype, the hype, the hype. Anything for the clout. Carby already said it. Salute to Carby B, man. Salute to Offset, man. The people out will do anything for the clout, bro. Anything for the clout. I'm telling you, it's just mad out here. Like, YouTube are turning people crazy. Sneaker culture is just crazy. People will do anything for the hype, anything for the clout. Crazy. I don't know, man, but I don't know whether this video was supposed to be this long or this much of a rant, but I haven't done a proper rant video in God knows how long, man. I haven't said my piece in... Um, it's not a rant, it's just me saying my piece, but I've not really done a video saying my piece in a while, so that's why I thought I'd give you the 4K and tell you how it is. I don't know how this video is going to... I'm not going to edit it either.